Hello, good evening. Good evening. Hello, Claudia. How are you? Very good, teacher. And you? I'm very good, too. Thanks for asking me. How was your day today? Um, very busy. Ah, oh, you have a very busy day. Mm -hmm. Okay, see. I'm sorry to hear that. Are you sick? Are you sick? Eh, no, estos mis episodios de alergia que me dan. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. So you suffer from allergies. Sí. I'm sorry to hear that. Thank you. <laughs> Hello, Ana Maria. Welcome to the class. Good evening. Hello, teacher. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. How are you? Very good, thank you. Very good. Are you happy because today is our last class? Uh, a little. <laughs> a little. <laughs> I'm going to miss you a lot. All of you. I'm going to miss you. Okay. Carla Vanessa is coming. Hello, Carla. Welcome to the class. Catherine, welcome to the class. Good evening. How are you today, Carla and Catherine? So so. So so. Uh, are you sick? Very good teacher. Catherine is very good. Carla, what's the matter? Uh, hello, Brenda. Welcome to the class. Good evening. Good evening. How are you, Brenda? Eh, un poco cansada, teacher. Ah, you are tired today. Okay. Yes. Don't worry. In 59 minutes, you are going to rest. Just be no, strong. No okay. No. Ah, okay. Hello, Elias. Welcome to the class. Good evening. Good evening. How are you, Elias? Mm -hmm. I feel tired. Also. Oh, you feel tired too. Okay. Yes. Hello, Juliana. Hello, Julian. Welcome to the class. Good evening. Hello, good evening. How are you today? Hello, teacher. Hello, Julian. Welcome. Very good. Very good. Okay, excellent. And you, Julian, how are you today? Very good, teacher. Very good. Okay, it's, it's nice to hear that. Okay, as you know, tonight is our last virtual session, our last class. Uh, let me know, please, if you have already finished the platform exercises and evaluation. Lograron completar hasta el 100% de la plataforma? Yeah. Yes. 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 Julián say yes. Carla say yes. Elías say yes. Uh, anyone? Yes. Okay, Ana María, yes. Okay, so thank you. Thank you for your hard yes, work. Teachers. Juliana say yes. Very good. So congratulations to everyone. So have you already seen your diploma or your certificate? Ya lo vieron? Ya les aparece la opción? Ya lo tengo, teacher. Yes. Yes. Ah, ya lo tengo impreso, dice Julián. Okay, very good. Yeah. Excellent. A mí ya me sale, pero no lo impreso. Pero sí ya me sale. Ah, okay. If you have any problems, so you can write on the WhatsApp group. 
el grupo de WhatsApp va a seguir funcionando ¿verdad? por unos días más en caso de que usted tenga algún problema con lo de los certificados o los diplomas o cualquier duda que usted tenga. Ahí va a seguir el grupo un par de días más ¿verdad? para cualquier consulta. ¿De acuerdo? Do you have any question about the platform exercises and evaluation? About the course questions? No question. Okay, then uh, tonight, tonight is our last class and we are going to have a review of the topic that we study during this course, right? Do you remember what was the first topic? Do you remember that? No, no, you say no. Okay, we're going to remember. Yes, a minute. I'm going to share my screen with you. No feedback of the courage. That is the topic for tonight. Let me know, please, if you can see my presentation. Yes. Oh, yes. Okay. Thank you, Julian. Yes, Thanks a lot. So feedback of the course. We are going to have a review of the topic that we studied during this course, or oh, the main topics, the main topics. So welcome to the class 16. You did it. This is the last class. Thanks a lot for being here with me tonight. A future tense review. Future tense. A we study the verb be plus going to form to speak about future intention, future plans. So let's see, this is the structure we have been studying about the be plus going to. We need a subject, the verb be, las tres formas del verbo to be, am, is, and are, going to, a verb, and a complement. And we have a sentence talking about future plans. Let's see, for example, who wants to read the sentence? Any volunteer tonight? Going to have a party. Thank you, Ana Maria. I'm going to have a party. Excellent. So let's see the other example. Who wants to read the next example? Yes, read it. Any volunteer? Help me. You are going to come to my party? Thanks a lot, Vanessa. And the next one. Any volunteer to read the third sentence? She is going to buy some drinks. Thanks a lot, Julian. She's going to buy some drinks. Very good. And the next one. He is going to buy some snack. Thanks a lot. He's going to buy some snacks. Thanks. And the next one. Any volunteer? It is going to be fantastic. Thanks a lot. It is going to be fantastic. Very good. And let's see the last one. Oh, the before the last one. We are going to, to cook roasted meat. Thank you, Juliana. Excellent job. And the last one. Any volunteer? They are going to make the salad. Thanks a lot. They are going to make the salad. So as you can see, we have here future. We are talking about future plans using this structure, a subject, there be, in sus tres formas, am, are, and is, going to, plus a verb, and a complement. So I'm going to have a party. A going to. ¿Qué otro sonido usamos para el going to? Gonna. When gonna. you are speaking, we use gonna. Okay, I need a volunteer who wants to participate. Can you use gonna to read the first four sentences, las primeras cuatro? Using gonna. Any volunteer? Me, teacher. Thank you, Julian. Can you please start? I am gonna to have the party. You are gonna to come to my party. She's going, she's gonna to buy some drinks. He is gonna to buy some snacks. Thank you, Julian. Very good try, but 
Eh, going to es todo el sonido gonna, gonna. So, no tenemos que decir gonna to. Solo gonna have. I am gonna have a party. You ah, are perdón. gonna, you are gonna come to my party. She's gonna buy some drinks. He's gonna buy some snacks. Okay, can you please try again, Julian? I am going, I am gonna have a party. You are gonna come to my party. She is gonna buy some drinks. He is gonna buy some snacks. Okay, now it was perfect. Thanks a lot. Excellent job. Thank you, Julian. So any volunteer to read the last three sentences? Any volunteer to read the last three sentences using the sound gonna? Anna. Thank you, Ana Maria. Can you please start? It's gonna be fantastic. We are gonna cook roasted meat. They are gonna make the salad. Thanks a lot. Excellent. That was perfect. Thank you, Ana. Let's go for the next one. So look at this. In negative sentences. Using going to with negative sentences, we are going to follow the next, the next structure or we learn the next structure, subject, verb be. Uh, then we have this, not going to, verb and complement. So we need a subject, the verb be, and um, is or are, not going to, verb and a complement. So here are the examples. Any volunteer to read the examples tonight? Who wants to read them? Any volunteer? Who wants to read the examples? Teacher. Thank you, Julian. I am I am not going to celebrate Christmas. She is not going to have a birthday party. He isn't stay home the next holiday. They aren't going to travel to Europe. Europe, Europe. Can you please Europe. repeat? Europe, thanks a lot. So, uh, excellent, excellent. I'm not going to celebrate Christmas. So, no voy a celebrar Navidad. So, it's a negative plan. Right? I'm not going to celebrate Christmas. It's a negative sentence. Algo que no va a suceder in the future. I'm not going to celebrate Christmas. Eh, she's not going to have a birthday party. Ella no tendrá una fiesta de cumpleaños. He is in staying home the next holiday. And they aren't going to travel to Europe. So look at this, in this example, in the second one, for example, she is the subject, is, is the form of the verb be, not going to have a birthday party. Uh, have is the verb and a birthday party is the complement. And then we have a negative sentences with going to. Okay. Let's go with the next questions, questions. So to make a question, we, we write the verb be at the beginning of the sentence. We need as the subject going to the verb in the complement. So look at the examples. Oh, and also we need this. This is important, the question mark. We need the question mark and we have here these examples. Any volunteer to read the examples? Question, yes, no questions. Any volunteer? Anna. Thank you, Anna. Are you gonna go shopping? Is she gonna buy clothes? Are they gonna use their credit card? Is he gonna buy car? Are we gonna go to the supermarket? Thanks a lot. Thank you very much. So yes, no question. We say yes or not. Are you going to go shopping tomorrow? Are you going to go shopping tomorrow? What's the answer for that question? Are you going to go shopping tomorrow? Any volunteer to answer no, the question? No, I'm not. Excellent. No, I'm not. So is she going to buy cloth? 
you say you say yes 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 no she isn't <laughs> uh, are you gonna buy clothes for christmas and new year eve are you gonna buy clothes yes yes um, Yes, I am. I am. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Okay, very good. So let's see. Are they going to use their credit card? Yes, they are. No, they aren't. Is he going to buy a card? Yes, he is. No, he isn't. Are we going to go to the supermarket? Yes, we are. No, we aren't. So we study this structure in the first topic of the unit. And then let's go to the next W's word or information question with going to. So we need the following structure. W's word, the verb be, subject going to, verb, complement, and the question mark. Look at the examples. What are you going to do for Christmas? So you have to give me information, right? What are you going to do for Christmas? ¿Qué va a hacer para Navidad? ¿Qué actividades va a realizar? I'm gonna visit my family. Excellent. I'm gonna visit my family. Very good. I'm gonna visit my family. Any other answer? What are you going to do for Christmas? Dancing. Excellent, you say, say the sentence. I am going to dance or I'm gonna dance. Party. Oh, you say, I'm going to have a party or I'm gonna have a party. Okay. Very good. Any other? I'm gonna visit my family. Excellent, I'm gonna visit my family. Thank you, Elias. Any other answer? What are you going to do for Christmas? I am gonna dance whole night. Okay, excellent. I'm gonna dance the whole night. Very good. Any other answer? The last answer. What are you going to do for Christmas? I'm gonna to eat and drink a lot. Okay, I'm gonna eat and drink a lot. Soda and juice, orange juice. And the next one. <laughs> okay, then the next one, how are you going to spend your weekend? How are you going to spend your weekend? The next weekend, how are you going to spend your weekend? ¿Cómo va a pasar, cómo va a gastar el siguiente fin de semana? ¿En qué va a utilizar ese tiempo? How are you going to spend your weekend? I wanna to rest with my family. Okay, very good plan. Any other answer? Can you say, I'm, I'm gonna, gonna, I'm uh, gonna wash a car. Okay, I'm gonna wash my car. Excellent I'm plan. going to stay with my daughter in our class, our house. Okay, I'm going to stay at home with my brother. Very good. Any other answer? How are you going to spend your weekend? I'm, I'm gonna, gonna go to the cinema. Okay, excellent. I'm gonna go to the cinema. I'm gonna I'm gonna visit my parents. I'm gonna visit my parents. Excellent sentence. Thank you. Very good. Now let's see. Where are you going to travel in the future? Where are you going to travel? So you say, I'm going to travel to Mexico. I'm going to travel to Brazil. I'm going to travel to China to eat fried dog. So where are you going to travel? I come to travel to Guatemala. Okay, I'm going to travel to Guatemala. Excellent. Any other answer? I'm going, I'm going to travel my world. I'm going to travel. Uh, it's, it's <laughs> I'm going to travel to. Oh, okay. Oh, creo que es un viaje que nadie quiere hacer. <laughs> so, any other answer? Where are you going to travel? Which country are you going to visit in the future? 
no answers tonight? The last answer. I don't know. I Ana don't Maria know. say, I don't know. Elias, I don't know. Okay, thanks a lot. Then let's see. Uh, that was about the future. Then we studied this common illnesses. Common illnesses. So do you remember some of them? Enfermedades comunes. Do you remember some of them? Mm, headache. Headache. Okay. Tooth headache. Cake. Headache. Toothache. Tooth Stomach cake. ache. Stomach ache. Stomach ache. Sore throat. Mm, can you please repeat? Sore throat. El dolor de garganta. Sore throat. Oh, sore throat. Sore throat. Yes, you're right. Very good. Any other? So in this, in this topic, we study this, this question and this other one. What's the matter and what's wrong? Do you remember what is the meaning and the use of these two expressions? What's the matter? What's wrong? When we are going to use those expressions or those questions? What is the problem? Okay, excellent. That is the meaning. What's the matter? What's wrong? ¿Qué sucede? ¿Cuál es el problema? Eh, then, lo utilizamos cuando una persona dice que está mal. ¿verdad? How are you? You say, I'm sick. Hey, what's wrong? What's the matter? And she say, I have. Y dice la enfermedad de lo que está sucediendo. Uh, de la que está padeciendo, sorry. So, I have a headache. I have a stomach ache. I have a backache, I have a broken arm, I have the flu, I have fever, I have a cold, I have a rash, I have a diarrhea. So look at these examples. Who wants to read the examples? There are three sentences there. Any volunteer to read them? I, I have a cold. She has a rush. He has a backache. Okay, excellent. I have a cough. She has a rush. He has a backache. Uh, very good. Thank you, Julian. So let's see the next. Uh, look at the picture and tell me what's wrong. What's wrong with these people? The first one, the first picture. What's wrong with hair? Or what's the matter with hair? And then you say she she, she, she has a toothache. She how she is how a toothache. Toothache, very good. Tooth. Yes, she has. She has a toothache. Can you say the sentence again? She has a toothache. Julian, can you please say the sentence again? She has a toothache. She has a toothache. Very good, thank you. Let's look at the next. What's the matter with her? She has a stomachache. Excellent, she has a stomachache. And the next one, what's the matter with her? She has the flu. She has the she flu. Has. And the next one? He, he's a he, headache. He has, has oh. a headache. Okay, excellent. He has a headache. Okay, then we also, in this topic, study imperative sentences. Imperative sentences to get advices. So let's see if I have a tough age. What is an advice using an imperative sentence? Any advice for a toothache? Do you remember that? And you say, don't drink cold drinks. Don't eat ice cream. Go to the dentist. Don't eat hard things. No coma cosas duras. So for a stomach ache, some advices for a stomach ache. Stomach ache. Any advice? Take a pill. 
Ok, excelente. They appeal. Very good. They appeal. Any other advice for stomach ache? Drink, drink a lot of water. Drink a lot of water. Very good. Any other? Hello, guys. Any other? Tell me, tell me. Remember. Advices using imperative sentences. I have two. They appeal. Drink a lot of water. Don't eat meat. Excellent. Don't eat meat. Perfect advice. Don't eat meat. What about the flu? Tell me, tell me, please. It's so much. Eat more slow. Okay. Eat slow. Eat slower. Un poco más despacio. Eat slower. And what about the flu? Some advices for the flu. Take a pill. Take a pill. Very good. Any other one? Drink a pill. Drink probably cough syrup, right? Drink cough syrup. Any other? Drink, drink a water. Drink water. Okay, drink water. The last one for the flu. Drink tea. Excellent. Drink chamomile tea or ginger tree. Chamomile or ginger tree. Chamomile is manzanilla and ginger is... What is the meaning of ginger? Do you know what is ginger? Ginger. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Yes, you're right. Very good. And what about for a headache? Big. <laughs> headache. Don't, don't watch TV. Oh, don't watch TV. That is a good advice. Any other? Aplicarse big. ¿Cómo se, cómo se diría? I say big paporu. So you say put. Put big paporu. Put. 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 Big paporu. Put, uh, but? No, that is put. Put big baboru. Put, put big, big baboru. It's P U T, put. Ah, but. You say no. No, it's P, P, put. <laughs> no dormirse tan noche. Ah. Okay, don't go to bed late. Don't go to bed late. Not use your cell phone. Don't use your cell phone. Excellent. So let's see the next thing here. Then we study preposition of place. Do you remember then? Preposition of play. Do you remember some of them? Yes. Yes. Which one do you remember? Can you please tell me? Which are the preposition of place? Let's see, for example, how do you scope? How do you, yes? What's the meaning go straight? Go straight is camine recto, or vaya recto. Go straight. Okay. Then, let's see, the preposition of place, how do you say a la par de in English? Next, next, next to, next to. How do you say atrás de? Behind. Behind. How do you say en medio de? Between. Between. How do you say en frente de? In front of. In front of. How do you say en esquina de? In front of. Across. How do you say? On the corner of, and how do you say, uh, let's see, sobre, sobre de? On. On, easy. Oh. And how do you say cruzando? Across from. Across from. Very good. Now we learn it's an expression to give direction. For example, go straight. Go straight means. Ir recto, Bernan. Siga recto. Go straight. Turn right. Turn right. Gire. 
turn right. What's the meaning of that? Turn la right. Gire a la derecha. Gire a la derecha. Very la good. derecha. Turn left. It's the Gire a la izquierda. Gire a la izquierda. Walk on. Camina sobre. Camina sobre. Okay, very good. So let's see, just a question, just a couple of questions. Where is the bakery, for example? Where's the bakery in this map? Where's the bakery? On the corner of Front Steam and Shore Avenue. Okay, excellent. It's on the corner of Front Street and Short Avenue. Excellent answer. Can you please tell me what is the bank? What is the bank? Behind next grocery to library. Next yeah. to library. Excellent. It's behind the grocery store next to the library. Very good. Can you please tell me where is the city park? Where's the city park? Next to city middle school. Okay, it is next to middle school. City middle school, yes. Alguna otra referencia? Where is the city park? Um, Bank Street. No. City Clinic. Oh, it's next to the City Clinic. It's on from the street. Y si quiero utilizar across from? Across from the street. Uh -huh. across from the street. From the street. Across from the care center? Uh, no. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yes, you are right. It's across from the daycare center. Very good. Now, can you please tell me what is the parking lot? What is the parking lot? Oh. Across from bank. It's across, a, bank. It's across from, from the bank. Or you can say it's in front of the bank. In front of the bank. Okay, very good. Now, it's if next uh, to video store. Next to the video store, very good. Now I am here and I want to go to the fire station. Can you help me please? Can you get me some direction to get the fire station? Behind oh. drugstore. Uh, the fire station is behind the drugstore. Thank oh. you. But I am here in this point. How can I get to the fire station? Don't you remember that? And you say, go straight back street. Then you start working, go straight back street. Then turn right or left. Turn right or turn left. Right. 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 Okay, I'm turning right. And now, turn right. Right again. Go right. Turn right. right on front street. Turn left. Okay, I'm the first turn left on Shore Avenue. Avenue. Okay, now I am here. Pero como no conozco, I don't know what is the fire station. Can you give me some references, some directions? Uh, across from library. Ah, okay. I can uh, see next the library to here. Drugstore. And I can see the drugstore. Oh, thank you very much. Here is the fire station. Thanks a lot. So you say, go straight on Back Street, turn right on Long Avenue, then turn right again on Front Street, turn left on Short Avenue. And the fire station is next to the drugstore across from the library. Thank you very much. Now look at this, I am here in this point 
and I want to go to the city clinic. How can I get to the city clinic? Can you help me, please? Go straight. Oh, in which strip? Go, go straight. Long Avenue. Okay. Long Avenue. Turn right from Street. From Street. Okay, I'm here. Turn right or left. Turn to right. Right. Go and strike. Go and strike. Go from so. Street. Turn. I am across here. from across from uh, City Park. Oh, next a friend. Bakery. Next to the bakery. Okay, thank you. Now I am here in the clinic. Comprando una pectobismol. Thanks a lot. Excellent, excellent job. Thank you. Then we use this, this expression to keep direction and also uh, the preposition of place to, to locate places. Para localizar lugares so, como puntos de referencia. It's between, it's behind, it's on the corner of, it's across from, it's in front of, it's on, it's between, it's behind. Do you have any question about this topic? No question. No question, Tisha. No questions? Okay, thanks. Let's go with the next then. Then we study this, a simple past tense, was and where. Was and where is the past form of the verb. The qual verbo? To be. Ah, okay, excellent. Was and where is the past form of the verb to be. So look at this. To make a sentence, we, to make a sentence, we need a subject, was or where, plus a complement. So it's, this is the structure. Look at the example. I was sad yesterday. So what is the subject in this sentence? Can you help me please? What is the subject in this sentence? I. 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 The form of the verb be is was and sat in yesterday. Sat yesterday is the complement. So I was sad yesterday. Anyone until to read the next example? She was at the shopping mall. Thank you very much. Perfect. The next one. They were polite. They were polite. They were polite. I was sad yesterday. She was at the shopping mall. They were polite. What's the meaning in Spanish of the last sentence? They were polite. No idea. Ellos fueron educados. Excelent. Ellos fueron educados. Very good. Then let's see the next. To make a negative sentences in simple past with the verb be, we use the following structure. Subject, was or where, not, plus the complement. So look at this example. He was not angry or he wasn't angry. What is the subject in that sentence? He. He is the subject. Okay. And with he, we use was, the, the form in the past of the verb be was, then we add not and the complement angry. He was not angry. Si lo queremos decir contractado, he wasn't, he wasn't angry. Look at this other example. You were not at home yesterday. Oh, yes, you, you weren't at home yesterday. What is the meaning of that sentence? <laughs> no, What's the, what's the, no en casa ayer. En casa ayer. Okay, excellent. No estuvieron. <laughs> Any volunteer to read the examples, please? Who wants? Who wants to read the examples? Tell me with examples, please. You were, you were not at home yesterday. All of those. Both of them, please. Okay. Uh, he was not angry. You were, you were not at home mm -hmm. yesterday. 
Thank you. Thank you very much, Maria Luz. Let's go to the next. Then let's continue with question. Yes, no question. Then to make a question, we write was or where at the beginning of the sentence, then we write the subject and then complement and question mark. Look at this. Were you sick last month? Were you sick last month? What is the answer for that question? Were you sick last month? No, I wasn't. Okay, excellent, Glenda. No, I wasn't. If the answer is positive, yes, I. Yes, I was. Yes, I was. Yes, Very was. good. Okay. So let's see the next question. Was high school easy for you? Was high school easy for you? Yes, yes I was. Yes, I was. Oh, in this case, we are talking about high school, then is it, the pronoun is it. So you say, yes, it was or no, it? Wasn't. Wasn't. So was high school easy for you, Julian? I wasn't. Yes, yeah, yes, it was. Yes, oh, it wasn't. wasn't. No, it wasn't. Yes. No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. Okay, Miriam, was high school easy for you? Yes, I wasn't. Oh, you say yes. Yes, it was or no, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. Okay, no, it wasn't. And Glenda, was high school easy for you? Yes, I was. Yes, it was. Maria Luz, was high school easy for you? No, no, I wasn't. Okay, no, it, it wasn't. Es el pronombre no, it. it. wasn't. No, it wasn't. Very good. And the last one, Elias, was high school easy for you? No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. And let's see the next one. Were they busy yesterday? Were they busy yesterday? Is another yes, no question, right? So where is the, for in the past of the verb be for day, day is the subject, busy yesterday is the complement and the question mark. So were they busy yesterday? The answer is with they, right? Yes, they were or no, they weren't. Then let's go with the next one. Information question, was in word. We need here a WH word, was or word, subject let's complement in the question mark so where were you on the weekend where were you on the weekend so this is information don't estuvo el fin de semana where were you on the weekend ah, and then you say i stay home i went to the shopping mall i went to the beach I visited my grandparents. You answer, right? You give information to answer. Let's see the next one. Why were you angry? Why were you angry? So it's asking for a reason, information. Uh, who was angry yesterday? Who was angry yesterday? Quien estuvo enojado ayer? Who was angry yesterday? You say. Nobody? Yo ahora. Oh, okay. Today morning. Today morning. Now. Today morning. Today morning, Elena. Can you please tell me why were you angry? No, I weren't. Oh, no, you weren't. Julian said, no, I weren't. So, Elena, no, Elena, why were you angry? ¿Por qué estuvo enojada? ¿Por qué estaba enojada? Uh, stress. Ah, you say because because I was stressful. Estaba estresada. Because stressful. Because I, I was, was stressful. Was stressful. I was stressful. Very good, Elena. Thank you. Now let's go with the last question. When was your wedding ceremony? When was your wedding ceremony? Para los que están casados, do you remember this information? When was your wedding ceremony? 
My wedding ceremony is 24. Oh, you say was in. My wedding ceremony was in 19. No, 24. Oh, here you have to say a year, right? Una fecha. Cuando fue la ceremonia, su ceremonia de bodas. And you say it was in 2017, 2010, 1990. I don't know. Do you remember that? When was your wedding ceremony? No, you don't remember. Todos los casados quitándose el anillo para ver la fecha. Está grabada. Sí, anillo. <ríe> Yo no me lo pongo, dice Julián. Ok. okay Son ustedes por siempre. Ah, ok. <ríe> ok. ¿Quién más acompaña a Elena en esa idea? Single forever. Nobody. Ok, eh, no les gusta estar solteros. Good. So let's go with the next. Answer the following question. Can you please help me with the first one? What did you do yesterday? What did you do yesterday? Do you remember? Can you please tell me? Some activities that you did yesterday. I did watch television. Oh, you don't have to say this. It's just I watched. I watched television. I watched television. Okay, excellent. I watched television. Any other answer? What did you do yesterday? ¿Qué hizo ayer? What did you do yesterday? I watched anime. I watched anime. Okay. Which anime do you like, Elias? Mm, Dragon Ball Z. Oh, Dragon Ball Z. Dragon Ball Z, it's a good one. Probably the best, the best anime. Any other answer? What did you do yesterday? I was at work. Then you say, I was at work. Or oh, I worked. I worked. I cooked. Work. I cooked. Any other answer? I didn't stay at home. I didn't stay at home. Very good. I was at work and cook. I was at work and cook. Very good. Where did you go last weekend? Alguien salió el fin de pasado. Where did you go last weekend? And you say, I stayed home. I go to the church. I, sorry, I went. I went to the church. I went to the park. I went to the church. Okay, excellent. I went to the church. Any other answer? Where did you go last weekend? Visit my best friend. I visited my best friend. Excellent sentence. I visited my best friend. Any other answer? Tell me, I tell me, uh, answer I this question. My grandparents. Excellent sentence. I visited my grandparents. Grandparents. Let's see the next question. Did you go shopping? Oh, look at this. This is a yes, no question. Did you go shopping? Yes, I did. Okay, Ana Maria said, yes, I did. Any other answer? Did you go shopping? No, I didn't. No, no I didn't. I, no, I no, didn't. Elias say no, I didn't. Glenda say no, I didn't. Any other answer? No, I didn't. Miriam say no, I didn't. No aprovecharon el Black Weekend. No, no, because no have money. Oh, no, because you didn't have money. Okay. Uh, no money. No have money. Hasta hoy pagaron. Qué Pero triste. Decir, Hay que ahorrar. <laughs> we have to save. We have to save money. 
we, we have, to, have save to save money. We yes. have to save money. Yes, para el estreno. O para los útiles yes. escolares en enero de los niños. <laughs> so the next one, did you stay at home? It's another yes no question. Did you stay at home last yes, weekend? I yes, I did. Yes, I did. Yes, okay. I did. Yes, I did. Excellent. Let's see the next. When did you last go to the movies? We need an expression of time to answer this question. So you say, when did you last go to the movies? ¿Cuándo fue la última vez que fue al cine? When did you last go to the movies? And then you say, I went to the movies 10 years ago. I went to the movies one month ago. I went to the movies last weekend. So any volunteer to answer this question? When did you last go to the movies? I when did you last go to the movies one year? Okay, one year ago. So you say, I went to the movies one, one year ago. I went to the movies one year ago. Excellent. Any other answer? Thanks. I went to the movie one month ago. Excellent. I went to the movies one month ago. Perfect answer. Thank you. Any other? Any other answer? When did you last go to the movies? No more answer. When fue la última vez que fueron al cine? Don't you remember? So you say, I went to the movies yesterday, for example. I went, I went to, to last to the movie two Last. years ago. I went to the movies two years ago. Very good. Any other? Then let's go with the next question. What movie did you watch? La última vez que fue al cine, what movie did you watch? And you say, I watch. I watch Plan B. Okay. Plan B, okay. Plan B. The King Kong. Yeah, King Kong? King Kong versus Godzilla. Oh, King Kong versus Godzilla. Any other answer? What movie did you watch the last time you went to the movies? The Joker. The Joker. That is a good one. Very interesting movie. Joker, Joker. Elias to the Joker. Okay, excellent. Let's see the next. Did you exercise yesterday? This is easy. It's a yes, no question. So you say, yes, I did. No, I didn't. Did you exercise yesterday? No, I didn't. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. What was the best meal you ate recently? What was the best meal you ate recently? ¿Cuál fue la mejor comida que comió recientemente? What was the best meal you ate recently? Quesito fresco con tortilla tostada, ¿cómo se dice? Oh, okay. Okay, then you say oh, tortillas with eh, cheese, you say, right? And bean soap. Cheese and bean soap. Cheese and bean soap. Okay. Any other answer? I ate pizza. Oh, pizza. Very good. I um, ate pupusas. I ate pupusas at Olocuelta. Olocuelta pupusas. Hechas en casa. Hechas en casa. Okay. How many pupusas? I ate China. 
Chinese food. No, that Chinese food. Okay, I Chinese ate food. Chinese food. Very good. Chinese food. Next question. Did you play video games last night? Did you play video games last night? No, I didn't. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. no you didn't. Yeah. Yes, I did. Oh, Julian say yes, I did. Look at this question. Where are you good in science? Where are you good in science? What is in science? Science is is a subject. Science. It's a scholar subject or a school subject. Science, math, literature, science. Ciencia, were you good in science? Yeah, bueno en ciencias. When you were at the school or at high school. Yes, I, I did. Yes, I did. You say, yes, yes I, I was. Did. No, it's yes, I was. No, I wasn't. Look at this. Is that question with the bird to be in wow. pass? Yes, I was. I was. No, I wasn't. Julian say no, I wasn't. Elena say yes, I was. Did you make new friend this month? Did you make new oh, friend this month? No, no, I didn't. No, I didn't. Yes, I did. Oh, Vanessa say yes, I did. And the last one, what was the last thing you ate? What was the last thing you ate or the last food you ate what was it i was a pizza oh you say it was it was pizza so the question is what the verb to be so what was the last thing you ate to say it was La pregunta es, ¿cuál fue la última cosa que comió? Then you say, it was. It was hot dog. Okay, excellent. It was hot dogs. It, it was, was bread. It was bread. It was soap beans. Oh, it was bean soap. Bean, bean soap. soap. Bean soap. Any other answer? What was the last thing you ate? Uh, chori. Uh, choripanes, you say? Or sausage, <laughs> chorizos. Choripan. Ah, okay. They are delicious, right? Choripanes are delicious. Healthy, I don't know, but delicious, they are. Okay, do you have any question? No more question. Okay, then just to say thank you and happy goodbye to all of you guys. And as you know, today is the last day of the course, beginner three. And I must take this opportunity to appreciate you for the time you did your best. Thanks a lot for your hard work on the platform exercises and evaluation. Thank you for being punctual here in the virtual class. Thank you for your participation. Uh, thank you for your questions. Uh, wishing you all the very most excellent for the upcoming opportunities. So I wish the best for you, right? It was a great blessing being a teacher of such brilliant students. So you are so smart students. Thanks a lot. It has been really nice to be with you this 16th night. So may good things follow you in everything you do. That everything that you do, um, okay, everything is good, right? Que todo les salga muy bien. Any new vocabulary in this paragraph? Thanks, teacher. No, no new vocabulary. Upcoming. 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 Uh, uh, las próximas oportunidades en llegar. Wishing you all the very most great blessing. Oh, no, it is very most excellent for the upcoming opportunities. Les deseo lo mejor para las oportunidades que les lleguen, ¿verdad? que estén por llegar a sus vidas. Any other question? 
wishing, wishing. Blessing. What is the word blessing? Bendiciones. Bendición. Uh, it says, it was a great blessing. Fue una gran bendición being a teacher of such brilliant students. Fue una gran wishing. bendición. Wishes. Wishing. Wishing. Deseando. Desear. Wish. Deseo. ¿Se acuerdan de la canción? We wish you a Merry Christmas. No. We, we yes. wish yes. you. So, we wish you. We Les, wish you. Oh. Nosotros le deseamos una feliz Navidad. We wish you a Merry Christmas. Ok. No more questions. No more questions. So, thank you very much. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Nice to meet you. It has been nice to meet you too. So happy, happy week. Uh, let's see. Uh, I wish you a merry Christmas and a happy New Year. And if I see you around, say hello. Right? Si por ahí me ven, say hello. Say hello, please. So Thank nice you. to meet you. Thanks, teacher. Thanks a lot. Happy holidays to you too. Okay, let's listen to someone. Thanks. Let's listen Julian. We, Julian, do you have some word for the class? Yo creo que ya se fugó. Ya se fugó, ya, ya se fugó, miren, si sí estaban apurados. Yeah. Bueno, <ríe> ok, yeah. ha, sido, ha sido un gusto haberlos conocido. Eh, cuídense mucho, espero que hayan aprendido bastante durante estas clases. Eh, si nos vemos por ahí, digan no la right. So, bye bye. Okay. Bye bye, bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye. Take care, teacher. Thank you, Ana Maria. Bye bye. Happy holidays. Bye, teacher. Thank you, you too. Nice bye. to meet you. Bye, Elena. Take care. Nice to meet you too.